Hi and Assalamualaikum everyone. So today I would like to present our proposed project to Edsco Record Chapter Unimap 2023 with the title Enhanced Wireless End-to-End -end IoT Hydrophonic System. So we are from University Technical Malaysia Melaka with our collaborators from Telkom University Indonesia and University Malaysia Perlis. To begin with, we would like to introduce this project is a corporate social responsibility project CSR between our university and Pertubuhan Kebajikan Villa Harapan. So this both party agreed to develop an automatic hydroponic system for senior citizens at their healthcare. To begin with, the senior citizen and disabled person face difficulty on doing their household work and hobbies by themselves. Thus, this is required a helper to help them in order to complete their tasks. Secondly, overspend donation money on purchasing vegetable for senior citizens at the care place provides a waste. And finally, the normal residence and facilities commonly built in Malaysia faces the Wi-Fi coverage limitation based on their structure and architecture plan. So this will be invite a dead zone of Wi-Fi if we are standing at this area. So from this problem, basically, we set three goals or three objectives to be focused on in order to complete this project. First, design and develop automatic hydroponic monitoring system. To do this, we are targeting to directly uh, transfer data wirelessly from this node to node 1 to node A to solve the problem of no Wi-Fi coverage. So imagine that the node number A with no Wi-Fi at all and number 2 with Wi-Fi zone. So we try to communicate the data from node number 1 to number 2. So the, sec the third objective is basically to connect the zone number 3 or node number number 2 with the IoT KN platform via wi this Wi-Fi connection provided. So this image shows the real layout of the Pusturbuhan Kebajikan Villa Harapan in Melaka whereby the orange uh, square area describes the dead zone of Wi-Fi coverage while the uh, south region of the layout represented the Wi-Fi zone. We faced these difficulties because we wanted to locate this project in this area whereby we have the amount of space to build product. So this is the product prototype diagram. As we mentioned earlier in the objective, we have two main area to be designed whereby one of them is node 1 for transmitter and the other one is node 2 for transceiver. In node 1 as a transmitter whereby there, there will be no Wi-Fi zone located in this air, orange area. So in node number 1, pH, humidity and temperature will be observed and analyze accordingly in order to make the relay and the sensor react in order to send the data into the node 2. So in this node 1, basically the data will be transferred collectively to node number 2 wirelessly up to 50 meters. In the node number 2, however, it will be act as transceiver whereby the data gained from the node number 1 will be received and sent to the cloud via the Wi-Fi which available at the Wi-Fi coverage zone in the nearer to the node number 2. So all the data will be sent to the KNIOT as to display purpose in the desktop headphone for monitoring those parameters. So these are the real product implementation which has been connected and located at the site so we can see over here this will be the piping for the hydro hydroponic system and this for the a and b fertilizer in order to fit the plantation and this is the real picture showing that our staff is allocating the plant with and test the system so speaking of the implementation level of our proposed product so we bring all the prototype design devices and circuitry to the site for having a real implementation site at the pertubuhan kebajikan villa harapan so for this reason basically we have proved that ourselves is jumped from the level number 4 trl to level number 6 trl for the commercialization potential commercialization and publication status we managed to publish two Elsevier Elias Corpus level of publication whereby we have one Scorpus proceeding in our hand and secondly we also have Scorpus journal. Not to forget that we also have MOU with Villa Harapan which was signed in the past few years. Speaking of the authenticity and novelty of this product, this product uniquely direct note to note or what we call so far as end to end communication wirelessly to transfer the data that will be collected by the sensors which has been mentioned earlier, pH, 
humidity and temperature so via the ph sensor and dht sensor this basically solve the issues of no wi-fi coverage or what we call it wi-fi dead zone secondly the novelty of this project is the use of iot platform via wi-fi signal in the wi-fi zone so it could be extend to a wide range of application in the future uses and futures application from this product so we are targeting to support agricultural field in order to smartly control other possible plantation types from a far location wirelessly by controlling uh, through the apps so secondly is for the food security field so we would like to be ready for supporting the food quality and security for the Malaysian perspective and the thirdly is to enlarge existing limited Wi-Fi dead zone areas and also it will be applicable in various field innovation product impact commercialization and society so through this project we provide a solution on the limited wi-fi zone especially for the plantation field we manage to reduce the cost up to rm 60 ringgit per node compared to the lora solution devices thirdly we manage to prepare a preliminary solution for multi-node wireless end-to-end -end IoT system which presented by this figure whereby this will be the existing one and this will be the our future plan so next introducing the dem dem demonstration by our colleagues okay, so this is the solution that I choose okay so the solution uh, make the relay to turn on or off that will be connected to the uh, fertilizer pump so this is the transmitter and this is the uh, receiver so transmitter uh, I choose to put in uh, no Wi-Fi coverage and for the receiver I choose to put in Wi-Fi coverage so the communication, the communication between transmitter and receiver it will be up to 50 meters Okay, with that note, thank you for all and if you have any question, please email us as the email below. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.